Republicans on the national level are irate at President Obama over his executive order uh, on gun control, which are perfectly benign. Uh, he's not passing any laws, he's not banning any weapons, he can't do that. If he did that, I would be against him. I agree with the policy, but if the president just said, I'm now banning all automatic weapons, I'd say, under what power? <laughs> right? No, of course he can't do that, he's not coming anywhere near doing that. But uh, here come uh, Republicans uh, from all over the country anyway. For example, freshman congressman Trey Raydell. Uh, Ray Dale's from Florida, and he says, uh, Americans have uh, completely lost our checks and balances in this country. The Congress needs to hold the president accountable for the decisions that he's making right now. And that's why, again, I would say that all options should be on the table. Now, why is that relevant? Because they just asked him, hey, do you think the president should be impeached? So he's saying, all options on the table. Uh, Congressman Stockman from Texas also said that impeachment should be on the table. He sent it in a memo that had Texas's secessionist logo on it. And he was calling Obama basically unconstitutional and un-American as he used the logo of the secessionists who wanted to secede from America. Okay, irony totally lost on these guys, awesome. All right, so that's two US congressmen now calling for impeachment, possible impeachment. Uh, and then we go to the state legislators which have absolutely lost their minds. They're now saying, if you pass this federal law, we're not going to enforce it. In fact, if federal officials come into this state to enforce it, we're going to arrest them. Here we go again. I, I, this is back to the civil rights era where the states wouldn't enforce federal law. It might even go back you know, earlier than that to an even darker period in our history. So uh, let's start with um, Carr, uh, Representative Joe Carr. He's uh, from Tennessee. He's a state rep. He says, Additionally, this blatant assault on the Second Amendment by the Obama administration is a systematic effort to disarm the law-abiding citizens of these United States. Now, understand that President Obama's, one of his executive orders, as an example, was, hey, let's train the cops more. Oh my God, how unconstitutional and against the Second Amendment. All right, Carr continues. In light of recent comments and actions taken by President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden, I believe it is necessary that Tennessee proactively promote, maintain, and defend Tennessee's sovereignty guaranteed to it in the Tenth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Look, I'm starting to get worried about these guys. All this talk of, uh, you know, we're going to enforce our own laws, we're not going to listen to you. Uh, here we go again. I mean, here's the South again saying, we don't give a damn what your laws are, and we don't really care about the United States of America much and we're just going to go on our own and, and if you bring your northern agitators in here to try and enforce federal law, well, uh, they're going to get arrested, literally. Uh, so uh, Carr is suggesting that uh, it would be a misdemeanor for federal law enforcement to enforce these laws in Tennessee. And then you've got Representative uh, uh, Kendall Croker from Wyoming, uh, he's from Evansville, and he says uh, making enforcement of any ban on assault weapons would be a felony in his state. Now these are just proposals for now. A felony. It's a felony for the federal agents. Federal agent walks in and says, I'm enforcing federal law. They say, you're under arrest. And what are you going to do? Then the federal government is going to go in there and get him out of your jail, and then we're going to have a shootout? <laughs> this is insanity. Okay? And the insanity doesn't stop. We go to Texas State Representative Steve Toth. Uh, he also is saying that there should be a ban in his state of enforcing this federal law and setting up this uh, fight between uh, the two branches. Uh, look, Jeffrey Fisher is a Stanford University law professor, and his expertise is this issue. I love his line. It's just simply, he says, it is elementary that a state cannot pass a statute that blocks enforcement of an otherwise enforceable federal law. It is elementary, <laughs> but we're talking with guys who barely made it out of elementary school. So Steve Toth then goes on television and continues his madness. We're going to do everything we can. Um, to call people back to uh, the belief and the understanding that we're a constitutional republic and that, that our, our, law, our, our, our rights do not come from Congress. Our rights come from God and are enumerated in the Constitution. Oh, it's God. Okay, great. Uh, which God? And whose interpretation? Uh, should we go with the Episcopalian version of the Bible? You know, they're ordaining gay priests now. Would that be okay? Oh, no, no. Oh, not that kind of Christian. 
who gets to pick which kind of Christian? Lutheran, Baptist, Mormon, are they Christian enough? Who gets to pick it? Is it Steve Toth? No, 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 the Constitution doesn't have anything to do with the Bible. If the Founding Fathers wanted to put the Bible in the Constitution, they weren't stupid, they could have done it. They could have said, well, as Ezekiel says, or we shall be guided by Leviticus or Genesis. They didn't say that in the Constitution. In fact, what they said was the exact opposite. They said, we shall not establish a religion. <laughs> so instead, these guys said, well, you know, as, you know, as we know, Tom Jefferson said that God gonna rule everything, so uh, I get to make up the new rules, and uh, I don't like the federal government, so I hate America, and I want to secede, and I won't let the federal government, you know, that, hmm, hmm, Ezekiel. All right, continue. Uh, the, the specific question, if it's passed by Congress, and once again, I don't know if the Congress will pass it, but if it's passed by Congress, every U.S. It citizen <laughs> has, to obey, has to obey the law. We will do everything in the, state of Const uh, in the state of Texas to ensure that, as Texas, we follow the United States Constitution. And if this government infringes on our Second Amendment right, which gives us the right not only to bear arms, but tells the government, the federal government, not to create any laws that infringes on those rights, we will do everything we can to push back against that. Everything we can to push back against that. These guys literally earlier in the week quoted as saying by any means necessary. All of a sudden they're Malcolm X. These guys want it, they want the shootout, they can't wait for it. My God, if you clowns seceded from us and you say, so I'm not gonna follow federal law, I'm gonna do my own thing. You'd be begging Mexico for a pathway to citizenship within 20 years. You'd be a hot mess. You're some of the most backward states economically in the country. Look, I love the South. I go there all the time. I don't mean to disrespect all of you. A lot of you are listeners, our fans, and our viewers, and you're frustrated as well. But you gotta vote these clowns out. Look at this insane man going around and down him, that guy, blah, 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 and he fail the law. No. We went through this already. We had a civil war. One more. Do you want universal background checks on all gun transactions in the United States as the president is proposing? No, I don't. Why? No, I don't. At gun shows, if at gun shows online, we've got the technology online. Well, what if some because crazy guy that you just described a, in upstate New York wants to go gun, to a gun show, we can answer, go buy a gun? It, well, that'd be, first off, that hasn't happened. If you look at that guy in upstate New York, he stole his gun. These he can go to a gun show where he can buy a gun without a background check. Let's quit dealing with a hypothetical, though, and let's start <laughs> dealing with reality, Wolf. That hasn't a, happened. That hasn't happened? 40% of the gun sales in the country are from gun shows where there's no background check. What do you mean hypothetical? What do you mean it hasn't happened? I guess if you don't live on this planet, you can deny any facts. Oh, no, not on my planet. That hasn't happened at all. Planet Texas, nobody's ever bought anything from a gun show. Okay, of course it's happened, that's the whole problem. By the way, he said, oh no, no, background checks, totally against it. You know what percentage of Americans are in favor of background checks? Over 85%. You know what percentage of Republicans are in favor of background checks? 85%. Everybody's agreed except for these lunatics that are the Republican politicians. Oh no, no, we can't have the background check. If you do that, I'm not gonna have you federal government. No, I'm gonna say it by any means necessary. 